Hello everyone, my name is Luis Ramirez and today I will show you how to monitor your devices by using the Mender Monitor add-on. In this video you are going to learn how to use the Mender Monitor add-on to report if an application is not working as expected. I will show you use case with regular shell applications, docker containers and even systemd services. As some of these examples will take some time to be reproducible, please expect this video to be edited in that way. In order to follow this tutorial, you will need a Raspberry Pi, it could be 3 or 4, with a Debian or Jocto based operating system, the Mender client and Mender monitor already installed in the device, Docker in order to follow that part of the tutorial, and Python version 3 in order to run the code that we provide in our tutorial. If you don't have a Mender account, you can sign up for free up to 12 months and 10 devices. First, we're going to take a look at the Crasher PY application that will log fake crashing events. You can get the code by going through this link. It's a simple application that will log from time to time a crashing event. You will need remote access to the terminal. In this case, I will take advantage of the remote terminal feature from the Troubleshoot add-on. I copied the different files in the device previously, so I will double check that the files are there and grant proper permissions to our application. I will try to display the help menu just to ensure that the application works as expected. We are going to run the application to fake a crash every 5 seconds in the background. Please notice the crasher.log file that we are creating as Mender Monitor will be checking that file to raise any alert. These messages containing the word error are the ones that will trigger the Mender Monitor add-on. Now we are going to tell the Mender Monitor add-on to track that log file. We specify the nature of what we want to monitor, the type of message and the log to watch. Optionally, you can even specify the duration of match validity. Then I am duplicating the tab so you can see the Mender interface as soon as we trigger any alert. Now we can enable the monitoring service we created before. And some seconds later, it will display that our application is behaving erratically. Also, all the people with access to this device will receive an email like this one, explaining what application crashed and what was the last message. After this example, I will proceed to clean up a little bit my environment to stop the alerts to reach my email. So I can disable the monitoring service that I created before. After disabling it, I can delete it as well. Now let's try to do the same process, but by using Docker. You can get the Docker file from the same tutorial you got the crasher.py application. First of all, we start to build the image based on the Docker file we upload previously. It will take some minutes before getting your image ready. As soon as the image is ready, we can run a container. And then we proceed to check if the container is running and crashing as expected. Just as we did previously, we can define a new monitor service and we are checking the events from Docker. And after creating the service, we proceed to enable it. We restart the Mender monitor service and as soon as the container crashes, it will report the error to Mender. You can click on the logs and get extra details. As expected, I get that information by email as well, with some extra details. Now I will clean again my environment to go to the next example. Disabling, stopping, and finally deleting the service. I stop the container, remove it, and check if there is any trace of it. The third example will be logging a systemd service. You can get the code from the same source. I copy it already to the user folder. So now I just need to copy it to the systemd services directory. As the file is there, I just need to start the service. The service will never crash on its own, but will kill it 
on the device with a command. Now we create the monitoring service with the subsystem type systemd. And then we enable the service as usual. As Mender is monitoring the systemd service, as soon as we stop it, Mender will alert us. If we check the details, it will let us know that the service is not running currently. Now I will clean my environment again to avoid receiving more emails. Disabling the service first, then deleting it. This time the email that I receive looks like this one. The demonstrated key benefits of this add-on are that we were able to lock and track the health of the device, insurance, reliability and operability. Proactively, we detect and alert an undesired event to avoid downtimes, and instantly alert users with email based on edge error pattern matching on device. If you want to get access to the Mender Monitor add-on, please feel free to contact us at contact at mender.io. Thanks for watching.